hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode this is what you are going to design you are going to design this beautiful church flyer in photoshop i call it breaking chains yes breaking chains church flyer in photoshop and it is going to be for social media handles therefore all the rules is apply here and guys trust me it's going to be a step by step very short quick and sharp as well so without wasting much of your time control n to open a new document and then just choose this side the width should be 2000 the height to be 2000 is a square size and then i have typed all the details here so i'll copy the title control c to copy it and then come and paste it here control v to paste it and everything is okay as i said it's for social media handle so everything is okay so i'll click on create and then my canvas size is ready i'll unlock this one and then let's start working with the background as i said all the resources files that i use for the designs are here i'll drag this background into photoshop and then wait for it to load okay so it's downloading i'll hold ctrl t and then i'll scale it up like this to cover the entire screen and um just cover it like this and this is also press enter to check it and then just hold or uh, add layer mask here then click inside the layer mask press b on the keyboard then we are going to use a soft round brush b again to activate the brush too if it's not coming hit here and then go to this side pick a soft round brush go to the general and pick a soft round brush and that is it just clean this side clean this side clean this side brush this side and we are good to go we are good to go we are good to go and this is awesome all right so ctrl j to duplicate the whole thing ctrl c to copy it and then flip it this way good perfect 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 like this perfect i think this is awesome then position it here and then go inside the copied one yeah go inside the copied one all right then copied one b again on the keyboard and then i think we can clear some parts so away just make sure that you blur some parts and then it should look awesome awesome like this all right so we we'll go and pick the next background and i think i'll just pick it from this side let me hide this one okay so we are going to move this background over here then we bring it inside boom and then ctrl t to select it and then let's position it inside yes something like this is awesome press enter then check it and if you just go and show it this is the texture yes we put it on screen put it on screen then it blends nicely with the background and then after that this is also another one we brought we just intro this into it and then we scale it up yeah we scale it up nicely like this and then change the back uh, blending option to something like this overlay is awesome just to have the fill inside all right so with this set and down we put everything in a group control g and then we call it background all right so the dark background is set now let's introduce the logo drag this logo into photoshop and then release it push it up something like this is awesome press enter let's bring our guide go to view go to guides and new guy layout and set here to six set here to five click ok set here to just check this one and then click ok and then that is it so this and also this put it in a group and then call it logo yeah and then it is set now we left with the theme yes we left with the theme all right so the theme i have typed everything here breaking change control c to copy it hit here t on the keyboard hit uh, anywhere control v to paste it and because the text color is white yeah sorry we are not seeing it so let's change it to black for the meantime all right then the font we use i brought the name of the font here which is this control c to copy it then go to this side and then paste it control v to paste it and it's here so if you don't have this font in your system kindly go through your browser and then download the font so 
breaking chains i think the chains let me duplicate copy it controls it let just let me cut it and then press enter control j to duplicate this thing and then push it down this way double click inside and then control v to copy the chains control c to scale it up so that it should be in line with everything it should be in line and i think this is awesome this is awesome so i think i need to scale it up again so i'll scale it up nicely like this and then position it okay so the theme this and this put it in a group and then call it theme yeah just breaking change should be the theme and then we set a gradient overlay for it we set a gradient overlay and i'm going to show you the hex code the gradient overlay hex code so this is it and then you come here you just double click here and this is this color yeah so this is the color this is it and then i'll click it and then we came here to set up another hex code which is this then click ok and then we came here to set another color which is also this yes and then the last one which is your white that is it so this is the hex code we set for it and then when we're done we set it to uh, the style to radial and then we set angle to zero if in case you are using normal this is what you get but you set it to read radar and then the angle is zero then everything is okay so that it will be the black will be dropping from the top and then spreading across that is it so we click on ok to accept everything and then that is the theme and then after the theme we quickly brought uh, sorry brought the time and the date yes we brought the time and the date control c to copy this one hit here t on the keyboard all right so this is set and then let's work on the images yes let's work on the image so drag these two images i'll copy them and then drag them inside and then wait for it to load all right so the image is downloading and then that is it i'll just click the two control control and then select the two control t to scale it up nicely like this to my preferred size press enter and then let me hide this one this is this and then this is it so i'll just right click on the first one then rasterize type and then press w on the keyboard and then go to this select subject at the top select subject and then photoshop will select only the image leaving the background alone we just want to remove the background that is using this process for it to be very quick and fast for us all right so the subject is selected that is how you are seeing the dancing objects on the image and then control c to copy it control v to paste it at the same time and then we we'll delete the one beneath yes we delete the one beneath put the cursor on it and then delete it and then the same thing is done with the second image rasterize it and then select subject and then wait for it to load guys all right so that is selected control c to copy it control v to paste it and delete the one beneath okay so we are done and then go back to the move to and then the image is select the two image let's position them well yes let's position them well then we bring it down something like this and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome press enter and then let's bring one of our rulers to check if the image are in okay then that's awesome that's awesome so this and this right click it and then what convert to smart object yeah let's convert to smart object and it's convert to smart object okay so smart object is set then go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's boost the whole image let's make it let's make it look popping yeah let's pop it all right so now let's boost this side to something like this and it's okay then let's increase this to something like this i think this okay then let's see contrast let's push contrast to this and this okay let's see highlight and this is awesome or let's make it like this and this is it now let's come to black then push black then let's see texture you push texture clarity just be adjusting it to get what you want let's see vibrance no vibrance this is okay so let's see saturation and this is awesome so let's see before and after yes so guys 
a lot of people underestimate camera raw filter and please today i'm telling you do not underestimate camera raw filter it can do great things for you so this is before and this is after and you see that the after is very very awesome so if you are okay with everything then click on okay here then for it to be applied on the design then this is it and guys this look awesome so let's work on the the names yes so i'll copy my width ctrl c to copy hit t on the keyboard and then hit here at the chest ctrl v to paste it and we use a font called taking by watches as i've told you so taking by watches here and then we change the color to color white yes we pick a color white from here and then let's make it like 15 size 15 or let's make it 20 and yeah i think 20 is okay then we're gonna copy the rest of the name which is pastor george mriku yaboa and t again on the keyboard hit here Control v to paste it and we are going to change the font from taking by watches to this Aldo the approach then that is it then let's change here to something like 10 and make sure it's very small so we push it to this side and then let's see if this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome like that let's zoom it control plus sign to zoom it and to have exactly what we are doing all right all right all right so we double click on it and select the pasta and change the color to something like this something like this and then push it this way good so that is it then let's zoom it out awesome now the width and the name selected put out and then drag it to this side perfect 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 then go and pick pick the rest the second name which is this ctrl c to copy it double click this one and ctrl v to paste it then we change this to color height all right 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 so then the name selected and the last one selected ctrl g to put it in a group and call it names and uh, images awesome and then that is set that is set now let's work with the time and date and i think for purpose of tutorials we just want it to be quick so we just have to go and bring them here don't want it to be too long and then we, we just select it and then push it up this way and then bring it here awesome then let's position it here awesome 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 then let's see this and the date we just position it here this oh sorry 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 this and that we position it and push it to the side a bit and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome i think it should go up a bit and this is okay this is okay all right so that one to use the same font and the date the time we use the same font for the names so let's select all and put it in a group control gene then you call it date and time date and uh, time okay so with that set and done then left with the down details yes I left with the down details so just for the purpose of tutorials let's go and just bring all of them straight we just don't want the the video to be too long so we just drag everything and the same font the same details so you don't need to worry if i didn't show you certain things yes you don't need to worry at all you don't need to worry this name should go up a bit yeah this name should go up a bit or better still the names so you should select them and then reduce the size a bit yes reduce the size a bit perfect 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 so this and that we should just position it well no 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 we should just position this well and this and then that too we should position it well at this side and guys this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so this we just select everything ctrl j and then we call it down details or details 
yes this details is made up of my social media handles and my contacts so if in case you are watching this tutorials and you want to link up with me you want to connect with me these are my social media handles you can see me on facebook at aki graphics and then youtube at aki graphics there's my contact my um, um, um my tiktok account at aki graphics and all the social media handles just locate me at aki graphics okay so basically that is it and we are almost done with the designs so after that hold control or shift and then e to merge everything into one layer right click it and then you can convert to smart object and then go to filter camera raw filter and again let's boost the whole design let's boost the whole design using camera raw filter so quickly i'll just push this camera raw filter to this and i think it's okay so again i'll push it to this and then just check here and i think i like this one so let me see contrast and i think this is okay and um, let me see highlight and i think this is awesome so let me see blast appeal and i think this one is okay uh, better store black should come down like this and uh, let me see texture and guys just be experimenting with what you have experimenting with what you have and let's look at before and after and yes you see it's quite okay it's quite okay so if you are okay click on okay and then for it to be applied so let's see before and after and you realize that something has been done on the whole design so guys this is basically how i was able to achieve this church flyer if the ps file you want to edit it the first thing you need to do is hide this one before you make any changes and after that you go through the same procedure and then do it again and then you get something like this so as i said if you want to make good use of the free psd file first of all if you download it hide this one or better so you can delete it at all and then start editing your details and then guys that is that please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how you think how you feel any suggestion any opinion uh, sorry any opinion on this design until then i'll see you i love you and i'll see you in the next tutorials Bye for now.